Welcome everyone to the Nerd Nook. I'm your host, Evan Teague, with me like always is Noah Bailey. So last week we, we did our review of The Batman, which came out recently. And today it was announced that The Batman officially passed 500 million Ooh. at the box office. Which nice. I, I never had any doubt that it would do very well at the box office. I it stupidly had doubts that I would like it. I really, really like it. <laughs> but I mean, again, until it came out, there was no way of knowing. Correct. Um, but that's that's very good. It had a 248 million opening weekend, which is the second biggest of the pandemic. Which, considering the biggest being Spider, yeah, Spider Man, you know, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> it's it depending on like the legs it has i know it's coming on hbo max on i think august 19th or something like that but depending on how many people see it between now and then depending on the territories that comes out in it very easily could break a billion so that's that's good but regardless of like even if it didn't necessarily like make you know you know as much money as it is i think it just the fact that they made a more or less universally beloved superhero movie for once. Kind of a miracle. <laughs> Especially Batman. It's like we were talking about, like, DC movies lately have kind of been either, like, the greatest thing ever or, like, this is trash and, like, yep. very little in between. But, yeah. yeah, this is pretty much across the board. Everyone's like, that was awesome. Yes. So, obviously, the trilogy is still happening. Um and on top of that, I think the success, both box office and critics wise and audience wise, has kind of lit a fire under DC to like rethink kind of how they're dealing with their DC universe going forward. Because a week after the Batman came out, they announced a bunch of their movies are getting restructured. Black Adam originally going to come out in July of this year it's been delayed to October 21st 22 <laughs> and then DC Super Pets took its spot okay. of in July I don't think that has anything to do with this but it just that's Dwayne Johnson also isn't it <laughs> it, it is yeah. yeah I just thought about that I was like I don't think he's like <laughs> interesting <Yeah. laughs> um I don't know if like if these movies just weren't ready yet so they had to be pushed back or if like or if they wanted to give Batman more room to like be in the public discourse or about other things. I think July would have been enough time regardless, but whatever. Yeah. Um, so not only was that pushback, uh, Aquaman 2 was delayed out of this year, originally going to be December. Right. It was delayed out of this year into March 17th, 23. March? Dang. All right. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> is anyone, is, this movie isn't coming out. The Flash is never coming out. <laughs> I didn't have to say it. You knew what I was about to say. <laughs> like, this is what, like, at least minimum it's, the fifth time, if it's not the more. sixth time this movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> the sixth this movie is not happening. It's not. Like, I'm sorry. Like, it's not happening. This, like, it was originally pitched as just a straight Flash movie to come out after Justice League in February of 2018. Oh, my. They've been through three different directors since. It's been reborn, you know, rewritten. Written. Just re you almost lost your Flash halfway through. Like, there's, there's so much. Four different on. Batmans in now or whatever. Yes! I don't even know what's happening. Like, Sure, I mean, I'm sure Michael Keaton's going to be cool, but, like, will it actually, will the story make sense? If, whatever. <laughs> and it's going to, like, do multiverse stuff. They're going to introduce Supergirl, which could be fun, but, like, will it, will we care? I don't know. <laughs> it's originally going to come out this November, you know, a month before Aquaman, but now it's coming out June 23rd. <laughs> wait, next. wait, wait, wait. Why did this go back further than Aquaman, though? Uh, because 
Why? I think I think what happened was they after the Batman came out and bl- blew away everybody. DC was like, we need to rethink just the way we're doing things. I think this movie is going to have heavy reshoots. A th- that is now coming out of a year and a half from now. I know. <laughs> so they could like, basically reshoot the entire movie if they wanted. Again. <laughs> Because they, because they, the first trailer was a DC fandom last last October, I think is when it was, and they said, you know, we're still working on it, you know, but but here's just a little tease, and they said a few weeks later, oh, they've wrapped filming, like that was like November of last year, and now in March they're like, oh, even though we finished filming the movie that's supposed to come out in November, which is like six months, mm-hmm. should be plenty of time to edit and make a movie. No, rolling that jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> and you know what? I'm betting right now it's gonna be at least one more time that it's gonna move. At least one more time. Like this is. It's not going out in just March. Like it's gonna be. Or no, he said. Was it June? June next year. June next June. Hmm. Mm. 15, was it 13, 14, 15 months from now? Yeah, 15 months from now. That's ridiculous. That's mm-hmm. that's hilarious. Like <laughs> that is unreal. It's gonna be five years after Justice League. <laughs> We're uh-huh. finally doing this. Like, come on, man. And here's the thing: I feel like th- this movie kind of being in the in the state it is is kind of indicative of just like and and kind of like a holdover of how dc has been running things because like after like after justice league you know didn't do what they wanted to do it just you know they should have just like stopped they should have like maybe you know make you they were already you know mostly through done mostly through with aquaman so just get that movie out and then just like stop making stuff, wait a couple of years, and then come back with the Batman or whatever. With like and and then keep doing what they're doing now is just you know one off, you know character driven, director driven stories. Like that could have been a very great direction for DC going forward, and that seems to kind of be what they're doing right now. But they still, for some reason, need to make this Flash movie. Which ironically should have come out before the Batman because it's going to be messing with the timeline. Which I feel that movie is going to essentially cause the Batman to be able to exist in this universe, but it's going to come out a year and a half after. <laughs> At this point, I I don't know I don't I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't know if the entire movie is going to get remade but I have a feeling they're they're going to do some quality controls on it <laughs> at least um but some good news um Shazam 2 has actually been moved up to December 16th of this year that was originally essentially that and Aquaman switch places okay so that's, that's cool that's cool. It's weird that Aquaman was announced first, and then it, it like that's it's, I don't know. That's, well, maybe. Well, okay. Wait, Black Adam's what October, right? Yeah. And then Shazam's yeah. December now, so I guess maybe that maybe that will coincide more. I guess potentially. Maybe. Maybe. Because yeah. I mean that is you know a villain for him, so I guess that that makes sense. Yeah, maybe there. Yeah, maybe there's a connection there. Maybe it'll pick. Maybe Black Adam will end right with something with Shazam happening, mm-hmm. and then Shazam will pick up, and maybe it'll be like a. <clears throat> and then know. Shazam Two will end with a Black Adam tease, and then. Yeah, who knows? Little, yeah, something. Yeah. yeah, um, but of these movies, Shazam Two is the one I want to see the most because hmm. I like Shazam as a character, but also the movie. Like the movie. Shazam one was it's a known movie. commodity. Yeah. yeah. It didn't make as much money as it should have at the box office no. because they released it in between two 
you know, behemoth with small Marvel movies, but <laughs> they're all, they're competitive. They're on the same. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> most more money ever. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, I I think I think after Flash, which may or may not actually come out after that, I do think they're going to kind of re- rethink just the way they're doing DC stuff going forward in general. Um, but as of right now, maybe the Flash will come out next June. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure Aquaman is going to come out in March of, of next year. Because, um, yeah, Aquaman has so far been the only DC movie since, you know, Dark Knight Returns, Dark Knight Rises to make a billion somehow <laughs> so so i guess they're banking on the sequel yeah, to do as well to do well yeah. too but. i mean we'll see but again i go back to i feel like aquaman had the benefit of nothing else coming out when it came out but, <laughs> and people just want to go to the movies but like, you're not wrong but same time into the spider-verse and bumblebee came out like oh. within weeks of it as well so like that should have been competition yeah, but i mean we know animated stuff doesn't get the respect it deserves like yeah. so and also bumblebee people probably were just like another transport like transformers <laughs> six or whatever they were probably just mm-hmm. like whatever because it's because on paper it sounded like a spinoff of just like the michael bay ones yeah so like and it i can kind of see how it kind of was but it, it was way better yeah <laughs> exactly but like i could see how on, i on paper as someone who wouldn't be like as someone who doesn't like know these commodities on paper you would think Okay, Aquaman's probably the best out of these choices, even mm. though. Mm. Yeah. And now well, maybe nothing is coming out next March. I think I, I'm not sure if there's a Marvel movie coming out then, because they also just done some restructuring kind of recently. Uh, Ant Man 3 might be around there. I feel like Ant Man 3 is slush, but I'm not sure. Let's see. The Marvels. Uh, that also might be. Around. The Marvels might be. Which I feel like that would be decent competition. I don't think that would be as bad competition, personally. But who knows? Let's see. When is... Guardians 3 is like May. Okay. And then Quantum Mania is July. July. Okay. Uh, Marvel February. So even that's okay. kind of like not as in the, you know, right, not the same exact time. So that could work still. Yeah. Like the but, Marvels might still be in theaters, but like it won't be the new hot thing. Yeah. It'll be kind of like be... Spider Man is now with like Batman. Kind yes. of like everyone's seen, everyone who want, who's seen it enough that like it's mm. not the headliner. Like it's still around, yeah. but it's like we moved, they moved over. Yeah. I, I still personally think Sony made the right choice to like Morbius just to get out of the way of their own movie. <laughs> <laughs> Morbius, dude, I keep forgetting that. I saw that Spider-Man happened. twice. I saw I, Spider-Man twice in January. <laughs> yep. I wasn't going to see Morbius. <laughs> I, I cannot believe Morbius is like still happening. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot about that. But then I go to the meters and then it's always there. And I'm just like... And like the trailers look fine. <sighs> They just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling it. It looks like a movie that is going to try to do like three things at once. It's going to try to be like a semi horror movie while also trying to like humanize the villain while also trying to be like a cool villain movie, which is like, I don't know if we could, because like you can't humanize the villain if he like, you know sucks people's blood and just like you know mm-hmm. I was like oh but he's only a vampire to like dad people it's like uh, we'll see about we'll that see. But, like, yeah. I don't know this, this this definitely looks like Venom but like more serious which is like not good because I feel like comedy saved Venom a lot but <laughs> not that it's I think it's great but not, not great I feel like <laughs> but... the movie not taking itself seriously helped the movie mm. success wise, I would say. Yeah. Like, we'll um, see. Yeah. Uh, but off the back of the Batman success, 
they did, uh, DC has gone ahead and um, fast tracked a Penguin spinoff show on HBO Max. Oh, could be cool. Apparently, it's taking the origin of uh, Penguin's rise and power in Gotham. Go get, go ahead. Penguin yeah. was a cool character in this. I did enjoy his. Yes, Colin Farrell killed oh, the death of that oh, character. My like, oh my goodness, he was so good. See, Patton Oswalt. <laughs> yes, and I know that's not. I I don't know why, but that was like. <laughs> Maybe he's played Penguin <laughs> at some point. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh man, I can see that though. Yeah. Now that now that I said it, I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, yeah, Penguin is getting his own show on HBO, um, and they also fast tracked a. Well, originally it was going to be just like a, a GCPD show with focusing on this Gordon. Oh, um, yeah. but it got it apparently has like evolved into a an Arkham Asylum show it's apparently going to be like kind of like a horror thriller vibe going so could be could be cool okay I mean I like that better than a GCPD show because that just sounds like Gotham with like extra steps but like yeah <laughs> but like <clears throat> Argo Asylum, it kind of depends because they could make that really interesting because there's a lot of characters they could dive into, but it also, mm. like, I feel like without Batman, it still kind of feels lacking, but we'll see. It, it, it also kind of feels like a show that you should probably wait until Batman's, like, you know, been around a little longer so that there's yeah. more villains to actually be in there because that's yeah. right now the only known quantities are. Riddler and the Joker. Yeah, I'm sure there's and, others, but like, you know, I'm sure Bane hasn't happened yet. I'm sure Poison Ivy hasn't happened yet. Scarecrow, maybe. Zaz, probably, but like, it's, you know, I, I can't really think of many like major players that will be around yet. That and that was kind of the thing. Like, again, I'm not against the Joker being in it by any means, but it kind of, this did kind of feel like a pre Joker world because, A, you know, Batman's still kind of new. And also, like, with the prominence of like Falcone and the, you know what I mean? All the like, those feel like, you know, early <laughs> Batman stuff. And then the line where it kind of, okay, we go from gangsters to freaks kind of. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, we, we haven't gotten to that like Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, like, you know, like serious freak level free. And I feel like the Joker's obviously. On the, on the front on the top of that list and i feel like he's kind mm -hmm. of i feel like this batman isn't there yet to have faced the joker already does that make sense for the record we don't actually know if batman has faced him it could have just been like someone that the police just brought in i can uh, i mean <laughs> that is true that is true but it kind of I don't know. Maybe I just took it that way since he's already in Arkham. I would just assume Batman's had a run in with him, at least in some mm -hmm. capacity. But that is true. He could have just maybe, for all we know, he could be in Arkham on purpose. Like, yeah, he could just be living there. <laughs> yeah, like he could just, like, you know what? The place seemed nice at no free rent. I decided, why not? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which in this and economy, I don't blame him. But <laughs> and if, if, like, Matt Reeves, if, if he doesn't envision Joker actually being a major antagonist for a future Batman movie, which like I think could probably might actually be the right choice considering you know Joker has been kind of done to death already. A show that's that you know that takes heavy inspiration from the Arkham Asylum video game where Joker like basically takes over the asylum and you know goes crazy with it. That could give you an opportunity for Joker to shine. You can still mm. have your GCBD people doing things. You can have other villains that are kind of minor that you don't like have major plans for just kind of show up and it could be could be fun. That's true. It's true. Yeah. See where they yeah, because again, Batman's Rogues Gallery kind of makes this. You know what I mean? Because like again, I go back to DC character. If you do it right, you can make any character like awesome. I mean, we peacemakers out here on HBO mm. Max killing it. So like <laughs> I go back to any character can potentially carry a show. Like you can make it work mm. if you do it right. So, yeah. 
Uh, so that's, I, there's not like a, a date for those yet, probably at some point. One of those probably at some point next year, but it's good to know that like, you know, they believe in this world. They believe in Matt Reeves. I think we all should, because that movie is fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> so in a recent like red carpet interview, uh, Nicholas Cage just like randomly was like, yeah, you know, I've, <laughs> I have not heard anything that. about Nicolas Cage in so long. Wait, what did he say? Please. Continue. Was, he, I don't know if he was asked about the Batman or if he was, or, or if it came up naturally, but like he was like, yeah, I, I, I saw the Batman recently. I love that movie. And, you know, I, I have some great ideas. If, if Matt Reeves wants to put me in the sequel, like I, I know, like there was this character from the, from the, um, the 60s show called Egghead. I know I could do a good egghead and make him very terrifying. <laughs> and he's not wrong. Like <laughs> of all the characters of all the Batman movies, egghead. <laughs> and yet I kind of want to see it. Now hold Let on. Him Let's do it. See. <laughs> Let him do it, Matt. <laughs> I mean, at least. I mean, is it a stupid character? Absolutely. But would it would I still want to see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be a movie. <laughs> the Nicolas Cage comparisons are already on the internet. <laughs> oh, man. That would be, that would be interesting. He could have said anybody. He could have said Kite Man. It would have made more sense. <laughs> Kite Man would have been all... Honestly, okay. I could see, I could see Nicolas Cage as like a Mad Hatter for some reason. I think that would work. Yeah. I... I can see him as a scarecrow. I can see him yeah. as a lot of people. Yeah, scarecrow too. I think he'd be a good scarecrow. Like, but, not as... I feel like Nicolas Cage could be menacing if he tried. Because like, I'm trying to think of Nicolas Cage like in anything except National Treasure. But like... Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about Ghost Rider. Yeah. So it's like... I don't think they could make it work. They, they, they could. They, I mean, it is very rare that a, a very well known actor just wants to play an outlandish character like that. So, like, <clears throat> if he's passionate about this, maybe let him, you know, show up in the, <laughs> at least in the Arkham show or something. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, So yeah, overall, I think things generally look brighter for DC going forward. We'll know for certain if the Flash movie ever actually comes out. But as of right now, things are looking on the upward trajectory in general. So, good. Moving over to, to Disney. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi finally got a trailer. Which, yes, it did. Yeah, that that's gonna be a good show. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Not that I have any doubts, but it's it's uh, looking good. <laughs> Is it weird that you just like I don't know, like seeing you and McGregor again, just kind of like I don't know, it just felt magical. It was so like, oh my gosh, we're doing mm -hmm. this. My literally my only gripe with the trailer was I feel. They should have made Obi Wan look a little older already. He does kind of look the same, doesn't he? Like he's like, his hair is like a little lighter, and he has like a couple of wrinkles. But that's that's it. <laughs> like, well, it's weird because like ten years, like yeah, because like it's been in real life, like what? What is the math? Gosh, seventeen years. years since Revenge yep. of the Sith. So like. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, on paper, it should like work, but like because I guess because the gap between you and McGregor and Sir Al Kenneth is like more significant than it is in the story, it mm -hmm. kind of like 
I don't know. Maybe they could have gone a little extra mile, but I think, I mean, is anyone really going to, like, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal, but, like... I don't think so. No, but it's definitely cool, though. Although, I want to see... Yeah, I'm like, man, what happened to this guy that made him go? You know? Mm-hmm. But, but he looks so... It looks so good. It looks... He honestly just looks like he just rolled off the set of episode three. Like, it looks... Mm. Great. Yeah. Like, I... The, the music was amazing. The, mm-hmm. you know, locations like, you know, I think sand planets are a little overdone, but we're not just going to be on Tatooine. You know, probably first right. episode, then go from there. Um, you know, some Inquisitors are going to be knocking around. You know, early Empire stuff is always fun to watch. It's just, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. And you <laughs> know, fun. Fun. And then, or, you know, Darth Vader is going to be in some capacity. I like they didn't yep. show any Darth Vader stuff. I appreciate that mm-hmm. because, you know, you know, I want seeing it to be that like, oh my God. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Dude, this is going to be so awesome. Yep. This is <laughs> this year. Like, we've been talking about this forever. And it's like, this is happening. Like, mm-hmm. like when yep. we were talking about Infinity War, like years before it happened, then it got announced, and it was like, oh wow, this is gonna happen. Oh. Then the trailers yeah. came out, you're like, oh wow, this is really gonna happen. This is really happening. <laughs> yeah, this is actually happening, like this year. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's uh coming out, it's premiering on May 25th. So Woo. cool. Um Going over to a different Disney Plus show that had a trailer recently, Miss Marvel. We finally got the first trailer for that. Mm-hmm. And Miss Marvel is a character I personally don't have like <clears throat> a super attachment to, but this this trailer looks fun. Yeah, it looks interesting. It's a new character we have to learn about. She seems somewhat likable, somewhat fun. It's a little bit of change of pace, which is cool. Yeah, and like. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, they they definitely have messed with her power set some. Um, I don't know if it's a thing where like she's she these are just the power she has right now, and then later she'll get the stretchy abilities. If they're just full on going with the like Green Lantern esque projection abilities, yeah. But I think they're. They're cool powers. I don't feel like her character is like. I, I don't think her character will change that much if she doesn't have the ability to, to stretch and stuff. Well, um, I feel like they can probably. They're probably just like you said, like Rulan. They're probably just projections. So it's like they might as well be stretching because she can still yeah. project. Or I mean, I don't know, but like, if that's the difference, I don't think that's really gonna matter. But anyway, I think that's kind of better because i feel like stretching is kind of the same as mr fantastic so it kind of is kind of unnecessary yeah like i mean they, they've they had overlap of diff, of characters with similar abilities even like in the mcu with, with war machine and iron man for example well yeah but, but that's like i mean that's like the same though that's not purpose. yeah <clears throat> Uh, like same with you know Captain America and Winter Soldier. Yeah, or like Ant Man, Wasp are very similar, but like yeah, they're like you know they're partners slash the same. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, be like oh yeah, yeah, Batman and Robin are the same. It's like well yeah, but that's by design. It's not like yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean I go yeah, I digress. yeah, and and also you could just generally do more with this ability. There was one part where she was like holding up like a force field of stuff. Mm-hmm. I think this ability, this like these abilities, will also match well with the other Marvels uh, mm-hmm. spectrum. I think they're calling her and uh, Captain Marvel, obviously, and any other you know super powered being that are introduced in that movie, which will have similar energy production powers. So why not also give Miss Marvel those powers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do also really hope that the 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 yeah, the show itself keeps the like thought bubbles and like. You know, yeah, like, I didn't like that. that. Yeah, I like that. That was really cool. It was not just a trailer thing. Hopefully, yeah, I hope so. Although, I could see them kind of dropping it, but yeah, that'd be really cool. I like that, because it almost felt like, again, kind of like in the Spider-Verse, a comic book. But like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. 
Um, so, you know, as, as good as both Miss Marvel and Obi-Wan both look very good and very just like fun things to watch, this will be the first time that Disney is running into that problem that we predicted ever since they, ever since Loki came out, I guess, where since Miss Marvel premieres on June 8th and Obi-Wan comes out on May 25th, Obi-Wan episode three will come out the same day as Miss Marvel episode one. They could have just made it Star Wars stuff on Friday and keep it there and Marvel stuff on a Wednesday. Would have been easy, but no, we have to make it complicated. Everything comes out Wednesday because now nothing comes out on Friday. And it's like, why? But ironically, it worked out this specific time because Obi-Wan coming out on May 25th worked with the like the fact that that's the uh that's the same day that the original Star Wars came out in 1977. So like that was it was cool that lined up on a Wednesday. But like, you did not that have hadn't, that. you had no excuse. Like, <laughs> like that's what I'm like, like, you cannot be like, that's why we did that. Like that is so not you could have just done that once mm-hmm. and then just made it Fridays <laughs> after that, and then you wouldn't have had the problem. So yeah, like, like don't say like, like that's why we did it. And it's not like they haven't like fudged release dates before. The final episode of Clone Wars season mm-hmm. seven came out on Star Wars Day, which was a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> so just like this year, May the 4th on a Wednesday. But I mean, the show's not even going to come out for another couple of weeks anyway. So it's like... Mm. Yeah. I have a feeling... I, I, I'm i really sorry, Miss Marvel, but I have a feeling after uh, after Miss Marvel episode one gets significantly fewer views than they project, yeah. they're going to rearrange some stuff to... <laughs> And it's not even gonna because Ms. Marvel's probably gonna be bad. It's gonna be because everyone's watching Obi-Wan. Like and sorry. Not that people can't watch two things, but, but like if they're hour-long-ish episodes, you can only watch so much stuff on any given night. So right, you're gonna commit to one or the other. And like most people are gonna be like, Obi-Wan show we've been waiting forever for, or mm-hmm. like, yeah, this Miss Marvel show looks okay. They're gonna be like. I can wait to watch that the weekend or something or not yeah. now Obi Wan priority one. But <clears throat> so it, they're competing with it, themselves. Yeah. And, and I've always said I I feel like Disney is missing out on a great opportunity to make Disney Plus essentially the new Disney channel where they have essentially new shows premiering every single day of the week. You know. Disney proper stuff on Monday, Pixar stuff on Tuesday, Marvel stuff Wednesday, some you know some Fox whatever on that they can on uh, Thursday, and then Star Wars on Friday. Star Wars, Star Wars on on Friday. <laughs> there it is. Like, dude, yeah, if I missed something. Whatever, but like you know they have so much stuff they could just be easily you know, do that. Yeah. But because they're just like everything's on Wednesday, I'm sure. I'm sure there have been shows that have come and gone without me even knowing they exist because I've been too busy watching, you know, Hawkeye or whatever. It's like, I don't, I don't know. It's so weird though, because it's just like, why would, it's like you're sabotaging yourself. It's like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, I guess it's also a thing, like, since it is a streaming service and you can watch stuff at any time, they don't necessarily feel like they need to to sequence them out like that. But I'll, you know, do the flip side of that immediately and say that companies care a lot about opening week, opening day numbers. Yeah. And if Ms. Marvel underperforms, you know, even if it's not her fault, they that will still potentially, you know, exactly. Come into, yeah. And like I, like and like we've been saying, like when some like the competition something comes out against directly affects its success mm. most of the time. So yep. like unless you're just the greatest thing ever, like if you, you know what I mean, Obi-Wan like <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like all the ones gonna be is like and that like don't even come out near this thing tier. And then you're gonna make a Marvel show 
not only come out around the same time, but be per- episodes premiere on the same days? Like, that's just asking mm-hmm. to set you up for failure. Like, people are just going to not watch this Marvel until <laughs> Obi-Wan's over. Yeah. And it's weird because, like, I really want to know exactly why they originally pitched to move Loki to a Wednesday. Because at the time, Bad Batch was still premiering on Fridays, and Loki mm. randomly was was put Wednesdays. Originally, I was thinking it was because Loki, the last episode of Loki was going to come out the same day that Black Widow was going to hit theaters and also Disney Plus. So they didn't want to compete with two Marvel things on the same day, but they clearly don't care about competing with themselves, unless it's like that in that specific instance they cared about competing with like their own like like within its own studio. Marvel and Marvel. Right. But but then Loki did so well, they're like, oh, we'll just do everything on Wednesday. But why everything? When Bad Batch and Loki paired very well together, it didn't like whatever. <laughs> I don't get it. But I get I think it's one of those things that's just there is a reason that is happening in the <clears throat> studio that we don't know mm-hmm. about. Like there's some like it's one of those things that there's no good reason for it. So there has to be some kind of ulterior motive. So like, yeah. there has to be something going on with the studio. They're like, I want a Wednesday, so I wanted Wednesdays. And you know what? Either share Wednesdays or no one gets premiered. They're like, okay, Disney or something. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But it logically it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I, I don't know. Um, like I'm gonna be watching both, maybe not on the same day, but I will be watching, I will be watching both. Um, but you know. I'm sure they're both going to be fun, both going to be good, but I have a very strong feeling that the way this is going down, because I'm actually shocked this is the first time this has happened. They've been very good about facing them out. And ironically, if they had um, done Obi-Wan on May 4th, I think they uh, wouldn't actually have this problem. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Which I don't know um, why they didn't, because I mean, I don't think they're doing anything else May the 4th. Like, yeah, Moon Knight maybe isn't going to be over by then. So that's coming out 30th, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so the last episode of Moon Knight, I think, premieres on, on May 4th. So I think they wanted to spread those out. It was like, hey, that's, you know, that will come out the same day that the first Star Wars came out. So that's a good parallel. But the, so they didn't want to delay this Marvel any, I guess. I don't know. I mean, okay, and I feel like it's different because, like, if it's the finale of Moon Knight, I think people are going to be invested enough in Moon Knight to watch it that same day, and it's not like people are going to not watch Kenobi when it comes out. So I feel like that'll be that would have been fine, but this I don't like because this is going to be in the middle of Kenobi and the start of Miss Marvel, and Miss Marvel's ratings are not going to not going to look good (laughs) because of it. Yeah, for the first three episodes of Miss Marvel. Or yeah, that. like, they're going to think it's a it flop. Like and it's like, no, people are just watching your better show right now. No offense. Like, but... Or sorry, at least more like, anticipated show. Like, yeah, it's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Mm-hmm. Competing with yourself, well, even if it is a different studio, seems kind of pointless, but here we are. Oh, well. Um... Like I said, I'll be watching both. I'll be very interested to see how Disney reacts to what happens if, you know, hopefully both shows do very well, but we'll see what happens. Um, Speaking of uh, studios competing with one another, um, so I mentioned earlier that Shazam 2 is going to be releasing December 16th of this year. That's actually going to be the same day that Avatar 2 is going to come out. Uh And the studio making Avatar 2 has reassured us Avatar 2 is coming out this year. That's what they say. We haven't seen That's it. what they say. We haven't seen concept art, a screenshot, set design, anything. We, we just know these people are saying it will come out this year. So, I yeah. mean, it's a thing. I hear that, but if this movie is going to be in like, visually stunning as the first one was for the time i don't know about that 
Because, again, the reason Avatar made all its money was the highest grossing movie for so long. It was not because of the plot. <laughs> no. Like, you know what I mean? The only reason I remember the plot of that movie is because it was Pocahontas with aliens. So, so like, <laughs> yeah, it was backwards Pocahontas, basically. Well, no, forwards. It was forwards, I guess. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, forwards in terms of, well, actually... Is it backwards Pocahontas? Because he's reverse Pocahontas? He's trying, it's the opposite? Yes. Because he's the invader trying to get the good graces of Well, no, because John Was John Smith trying to like trick the natives? I don't know. I haven't seen Pocahontas in forever. I don't I haven't seen it in a while either. <laughs> it, I feel it's like very it was similar more to the plot of Pocahontas that neither of us have seen in a while anyway. <laughs> yes, but the point is, the good, the best thing about that movie was not the movie itself, as far as the writing standpoint. It was the visuals and how beautiful it looked, especially yeah, and Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> I mean, she was in that. So she was in that. <laughs> But yeah, so like, again, in order for that to work now, they're going to have to up their game in terms of what they're, because again, I mean, like visuals and movies have come a long way since then. Like movies mm-hmm. look amazing <clears throat> now. Granted, you say that. Um, Davy Jones in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest looks better than Thanos. Like that, like Davy Jones and like the, really the, the like CG of the, the Pirates of the Caribbean movie, even the doing? first one back in 2003, looks looks real. Like, yeah, it's it's insane how good yeah. those movies are. Actually, <laughs> it's <laughs> funny <laughs> because it's funny because even in Kingdom Hearts three, like, it's unreal how good that world looks. <laughs> like, it's it's <laughs> like this should not look this good. <laughs> even so though yeah, like, I don't... they're kind of trying to make it cartoony. It still it looks too realistic. <laughs> Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, Donald and Goofy kind of look real, which is weird. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of like, this shouldn't make any sense. And then, you know, then Orlando Bloom pops up, you're like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So it is kind of funny how, like, yes, in some ways, animation and just, you know, movies, they do look better. But studios in general have kind of, like, I feel streamlined their productions so well that things have kind of looked samey and stagnated to a point where like you know marvel movies their animation is very good you know even these other studios like their their cg is good but i feel like there are times when like you know more recent let's say for example more recent iron man suits don't look as good as like Iron Man three Iron Man suits, um, or or like yeah Thanos looks really good like that that he looks like he actually is there but like if I go back to two thousand seven to Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End and watching Jack Sparrow fight Davy Jones like those are that like Johnny Depp is fighting us up the state a Cthulhu thing like that is but that he is fighting a squid person like <laughs> <laughs> like it is re- it's photorealistic how how crazy that is and like I don't know it's just it's it's, it's interesting it looks really good yeah, we'll, so, see, we'll, ha- we'll have to <clears throat> see again I think it's gonna I don't get but I, I go back I feel like the selling point is gonna have to be it just looks good because again I don't see this because, A, if this is going to be like a sequel movie, no one's going to remember the story of the original. Mm-hmm. So, because it's been, A, it's been too long and that movie's not remembered for the story. It's been 13 and also, years. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, people aren't mm-hmm. even going to, and also, I don't know. I don't, I don't see this going well, honestly, because yeah. we're just, I feel like people are just allergic to original ideas these days, but like, um, yeah also i i also feel like this might sound a little weird but i feel like 
the Batman is going to have an impact on just the way people view movies going forward. Like, I agree. just the way the movie is shot, just the what, how that movie looks. Weirdly enough, like I said before, just because of the way movies are streamlined in their production, there's not many like risks taken with just the way movies are shot these days, especially superhero or like, you know, blockbuster movies. But because that movie was shot so like deliberately and like so good, if if all of Avatar 2 has going for it is just, oh, the CG is very good. Oh, these big, vast worlds, like IMAX looks amazing. I don't know if that's going to be more appealing than than just the way Batman looks, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just, it's how the cinematography more than just the graphics. Mm-hmm. Interesting. But that's yeah, so you should get a trailer for that before too long. We still don't even have a trailer for Thor Love and Thunder. It's coming out in July. So, you know. Dang, that is right. <laughs> Yeah, maybe yeah, we gotta work on that. Madness out of the way first, but I, I, I want Thor now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> rounding out Disney stuff, uh, Deadpool three has found a director in Sean Levy, who made. Uh, Freak out, right? The Nightmare of the Museum movies, sorry, Night of the Museum movies, mm-hmm. and also Free Guy, Free Guy and Adam yeah. Project. Yeah. Okay, Adam Pro- I haven't seen that, but I haven't heard it. Have, have it's you on heard Netflix, anything? I haven't seen it either, but it's okay. heard it's fun. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, okay, cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a guy who knows uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds very well. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, Free Guy fun. and Adam Project. So yeah. That works. Yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, that I think that's probably going to come out 2024 at the earliest. So, but take your time. Like, yeah, you know, we're, we're not hurting good. for Marvel stuff right now. No, so take your time. We're good. <laughs> like, we've got <laughs> plenty to worry about for the next almost like couple of years. Yeah, <laughs> we're still waiting on Fantastic Four and mutant stuff. So, take your time. Um, <clears throat> in other nerd news, um. Gotham Knights is officially confirmed to be coming out on October 25th. So, cool. Very exciting. Which which does kind of confirm my original theory of Suicide Squad probably got delayed not only to help just with it, you know, polishing production, but also just to give Gotham Knights room to Fair breathe shit. because of that came out late October. Um, you know, Suicide Squad maybe you, you you know wouldn't it would have to come out like in November December but that's too close to Gotham Knights to let the, the breathe so I think right. delay is probably the right choice. I like it. Yeah, and get Gotham um, Knights first, which is my personal favorite. So, <laughs> um, uh, this past week, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Cowabunga Collection was announced for all basically all platforms. It's oh, I heard th- about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's awesome. It's technically 13 different classic TMNT games, both arcade versions, console versions, just other like various like Japanese only exclusive, which is like a bunch of bar- random ones from like NES, SNES, arcade, etc. With online multiplayer for several of them, nice. 40 bucks. So nice. Yes, like there are several Turtles games that I've always wanted to play, like Turtles in Time, um, Hyperstone Heist, like the our turn was it uh, TMNT, the Fighters. There's like some like fighting game back in the '90s that was apparently a lot of fun. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> they they've had a lot of good games, you know, especially in that era. So yeah, Ninja Turtles is one of those series that all the game well fuck. Okay. I don't know if I'll say all, but every Ninja Turtle game that I've played has been awesome. Mm. Like even the one based on like their later shows, like all like they've all been yeah. really good. So like, yeah, Ninja Turtles. It's like Ninja Turtles and like Dragon Ball Z. It's like those shows do always have good games that just it just works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Online multiplayer, uh, you know, obviously local multiplayer for the ones that right. support that. Just 
Thank you. Hey, that ain't hey, that local multiplayer nowadays is not as, as gimme as it used to be. Yeah, like, because like that's, Call of Duty, what you know, did away with that at thing in twenty sixteen. Yeah. Okay, why not? <laughs> like, uh, like what? No one has friends anymore. Like, come on. <laughs> they do. Like, they just live over there. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. It's like man, you can't even come over and hang out anymore. We have to like, all right, they let's can. go play. They just have to bring okay, their own guess I'll leave so we can go play. It's like. <laughs> They just have, they just have to bring their own PlayStation to your house, and you have to both hook up your PlayStation to your own TV, and then you can basically do a LAN party for just two people <laughs> to play on the same the same time. So unnecessary. Mm-hmm. But at least you would get your own TV. It wouldn't be so screen. <laughs> yeah. Um. Last little bit of game news, which I don't think I've talk to you about but if i have whatever um i talked about before that uh, uh nintendo switch sports um current you know it's coming out sometime in april and mm. you know it looks like it's probably going to be a lot of fun but there are there are uh, some some sports in there that i feel are a little redundant with tennis badminton and volleyball both kind of being the same thing Especially um tennis and badminton yeah yeah, I don't really know what that's about. Um, and then there's bowling and uh, sword, whatever that game, what that was what that called, and then fighting, soccer. I guess. Yeah, I think that's the, the opening lineup. I missed one, whatever. Um, and then we know that golf is being added later. There's also apparently code in the in the demo for basketball and nice. dodgeball. <laughs> okay, yeah. Dodgeball, I could that definitely dodgeball could be good. Mm-hmm. Like that just that just sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, it does. Make sure you oh, get no, the straps that... on when you're playing dodgeball. Yeah. Because oh yeah, <laughs> that could go. I can see that going poorly. It would be awesome though. Mm-hmm. Um. So. Yeah, like I, I, I'm still on the fence of if I like want to get the game. Um, I'll, pro- I'll probably wait until there's there's more content for it, assuming these are just free updates down the line. But you know, it, it is a. It, I feel like it's it's the kind of game that the Switch has been missing, just a fun, you know, game that literally anybody can play. Mm-hmm. With, you know, my mom played Wii Sports, and she yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't know what video games are, basically. <laughs> yeah, no, saying no. My dad loved bowling on the Wii. It was so fun. Yeah, and the fact that golf, like my dad, only ever played golf and tennis. So the fact that golf is coming later and tennis is there, like, or, you know, why not? Um, also, uh, this apparently the script for Dune Part Two is done, and filming for that will begin soon. Ooh. So, it's good. Nice. Dune, yeah, Dune 1 is a good movie that I feel I can't, like, give my full thoughts on until the rest of the movie comes out. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was very exposition heavy, but if the next yeah. movies really pay that off, then the first one will be justified. As yes. A good movie. Yes. I like it. It was very visually stunning. I wish I had seen it in theaters. I just, it was on HBO, so I just, you know, watched it yeah. at home. But, but regardless, like, you know, I liked all the characters. I really enjoyed the lore and just the, just, just you know, pretty much everything. The, the score and the sound design was also amazing. Mm-hmm. Oscar Isaac was in it. It's always a win. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I I guarantee that Dune Part Two is going to be, uh, you know, also a very good movie. So, yeah, yay. Um, and last bit of news. Uh, apparently, Netflix has ordered a Kung Fu Panda series with Jack Black returning as as Poe. Okay, so we're doing okay because there is already a Kung Fu Panda show that was on Nickelodeon yes. for a while. Yes, so we're doing this Legends again. Legends of Awesomeness. Yes. Okay, so we're doing we're doing a new show again. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm like actually can into the world with Jack Black. Okay. Part of it. So. Okay. Yeah. 
So that's why not? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Kung Fu Panda is some are some of the best movies. So I, I would argue it is like one of the best movie trilogies of all time. Like it is very, very solid. It the the last movie did do the thing where like the hero beats the villain by like giving him all the energy and then the villain explodes because he can't take it all. But which is a very like that was a tired cliche back in 2008, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, even the first one's kind of a cliche because it's like, oh, the ultimate villain, and like no one expects the main character to win. He has no chance. And then you know, David beats Goliath or whatever kind of yeah. thing. But again, it's like it's done well. You like yeah. all the characters, so it works. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, like I said, if Poe was any less likable, it wouldn't, the series would crumble. But because Jack Black is Jack Black, it's amazing. Yes. <laughs> you just like watching him do things. So it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, no, it's like, honestly, like, I think Kung Fu Band is the only thing that I've ever seen, like, fat jokes and, like, not gotten tired of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it just works so well. It's just, uh, it's so it's so funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like always, new kung fu panda stuff is always is always appreciated. Yeah, especially Jack Black on it too. That's gonna be big. Mm. There's no word yet if Angelina Jolie, David Cross, etc., are coming back for it. Dustin Hoffman. Uh, but hey. it took me the longest time to realize that Jackie Chan was monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I did not know that for, like, the first two movies. And I didn't realize... I didn't, I didn't realize Seth Rogen was Mantis. I didn't realize <laughs> Angelina Jolie was... Yeah. <laughs> it took a while. But Mantis, I was like, is that Seth Rogen? Because like, you have to watch it, like, without looking at it. Because you really get... The voices get lost in the characters. Yeah. Which is a sign of a really good job. But it's like, when I was watching it one time, it was on in the background. And I was like, that's Seth Rogen? Like <laughs> it's funny because like you should recognize his voice immediately, but you don't because it's just yeah. done well. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's this is a great, it's a great I love it so much. Yep. Um so yeah, time to move on to our favorite segment of the podcast, roll call. Yeah. So this is a little segment where Noah and I test each other's just random nerd knowledge um, where we just ask each other to name stuff and we see how many of that thing we can name. It'll make more sense in a second. So hit me. (laughs) Okay. So we, we just talked about it. We love voice acting. We love animation. We love things that other people don't give love to. So while okay. movie stars make millions and millions, voice actors uh-huh. do not. But some voice actors are amazing. So with that in mind, how many Tom Kenny voice roles can you name off the top of your head? Starscream from Transformers well, Animated. SpongeBob. Yep. Ice yeah, of King. Course. Gary. Yep. Um, the uh, the the French announcer from SpongeBob. The French yeah. voice the French narrator. Um, the monkey from my gym, my gym partner's a monkey. Right, really? I didn't know that. I think so. Really? I think that. I think that's. I think that is right. Yeah, that is correct. Yep. <laughs> cool. Um, oh, um, he either plays cat or dog in Cat Dog. I think it's. Cat. Is it dog? I think it is. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure it's dog. It's dog, yeah. Okay. Spyro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the mayor from Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. And the narrator from Powerpuff Girls? Yes. The city okay. of Townsville. Is he both? Okay. Yes, he is both. Cool. Um, I've all I've always been convinced that I personally believe Tom Kenny would make a fantastic Joker. He hasn't had the chance to do it. I think he could kill the Joker. I can see that. Yeah. 
a uh, penguin from the Batman show. Yep. Yep. He plays. He plays a villain in the last season of Samurai Jack. I cannot remember this guy's name. Um, oh, I can't. I can't think of his name as well. Um, <clears throat> okay. To be fair, it says on Wikipedia various characters, so I don't okay. feel bad. <laughs> yeah. It's various characters. And yeah. Like so don't feel um, bad. Oh, um, Orgalori, which imp- also imp- because he voices all of the uh, all of the penguins in in uh, um, like that Ice King owns, and oh. that one arc where like that alien like possesses one penguin. He also mm-hmm. voices that that penguin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, he's also Ice King, just by the way. But I think I said that. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, okay, maybe you did. One. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, There's so many. He voiced. Oh, was it the Toy Maker or was it from Teen Titans? He was, or it was the it was that puppet, Puppet Master. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. It was um. What was? Uh, I think it was Puppet King or something like that. The King. He didn't have a crown. Yeah, Puppet King. Yeah, Love the King. Yeah. It also says various characters on Teen Titans, which is hilarious. Yeah. Like half of these on Wikipedia are just <laughs> additional voices or various characters because he plays mm. everything. Yeah. I, I, I think I'll stop there, but this man is prolific. He this plays man has somebody done everything. everything. <laughs> I mean, other can characters include Cupid from Fairly Odd Parents. Right. Um, what else? The, oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, and oh wow wait really camp La- scoutmaster lumpus from camp laszlo oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one obviously yeah, i don't see that yeah dr two brains from word girl there's a blast from mm-hmm. the past um, word girl is fantastic i love word girl that's so <clears throat> underrated oh fun fact dr lumpus was i don't know if it was the first time but it was like one of the first times that me as a small child was like, hey, I was watching a show and was like, hey, that's SpongeBob voicing that guy. <laughs> uh, I put it together that like SpongeBob was voiced by a human. <laughs> that's pretty good. I because I probably wouldn't I didn't I wouldn't have picked that up. Mm. Another oh. example being um you ever watched Clippard growing up? Oh yeah. Yeah, the poodle has uh, yeah the, was Cree no, Summers. Yeah, so. Cree <laughs> Summer. Yeah, that was probably one of the first ones too, because she like, sounded yeah, just five. like number five, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute, it was like that one, and also um, who's oh, I'll it'll come back to me. It's fine, but yeah, there's yeah, that's that's, that's always the coolest feeling where you're like, I know that voice. And then you're like, I will never rest until I find out exactly what. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no. There's so many of these. These are, oh my gosh. Iguardo from Foster's Some Imaginary Friends. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one. Just, man, yeah, like essentially, if you've watched, really, if you've any watched cartoon. any show, but especially like shows from your childhood, like he's. He, he's yeah. voiced somebody. <laughs> yeah, no, he's every like he's in everything, and like for most of these shows, he plays multiple characters or additional mm-hmm. voices or just like everyone. Like, he's, yeah, he's been everywhere. He knows. Yep, which is awesome. Okay, plays um, Clayface's hand in the Harley Quinn show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure why not i think that's hilarious oh man okay your turn okay <clears throat> can you name at least the vast majority of the mainline pokemon game games like the name of the games yes oh okay so i know okay so it's like red and blue yellow mm. 
There's like what fire red, leaf green, mm-hmm. um, emerald. Mm-hmm. Um, oh no, there's two that go along with emerald, right? Sapphire. I have mm-hmm. that game. How do I not? <laughs> Sapphire and what is the other one? Ruby. Yeah, yes. Ruby and Sapphire. That makes. Yep. Sense. But the names usually go together, so it works. Okay. There's diamond and pearl. Also. Mm-hmm. There's black and white, right? Yep. Black and white. Sword and shield, the new or newer one. I guess what is it? Sapphire and what is the other one? Set. Sapphire? You already said sapphire. Oh, I did. Not sapphire. I was talking. About... No, it's scarlet and violet. That's what I was trying yes. to think of. I that's, don't know why is it one. sapphire again. Hmm. Um. Oh gosh, there's so many anymore. I think I don't know. You got most um, of which is good. Ah, think, think. You haven't said any from Gen 2 yet. Yeah, I, I don't think I know any from Gen 2. <laughs> okay. I think I, okay. I skipped Gen 2. We went from 1 to 3, so I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't, uh, that's all I got. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. The ones you, you missed were technically green. It was only ever released in Japan. Okay. Uh, uh, gold, silver, crystal. Okay. Um, Fire Red Leaf Green was a good get. Um, yeah, Diamond Pearl mm-hmm. Platinum is the one you, you yeah. got. Hard oh, Gold Platinum. Soul Silver is their remakes. Okay. Um, black, Black White, and then Black Two and White Two. The oh, only okay. games I got in direct sequels. There are twos, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Top, top three, top three Pokemon game. Highly recommend. You don't even need to play Black and White to get it. Okay. Um, <laughs> Noted. <laughs> um, X X and Y. Oh yeah. And then Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Good sun, moon, ultra sun, ultra moon, and then Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Legends RCS. I think that's all of them. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. For someone who hasn't like played most of them, that was, that was very good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've played, I think, four Pokemon games in my life combined. So that's pretty. That's, yeah, I was not expecting. Dang, that's a lot more than I thought there was. <laughs> Like, I knew there was a the lot, but I didn't think there was, like, that many. So I was like, all right, I'm running out of colors in my head. Okay. Okay. So this one's going to be more fun. So, well, actually, no, the other one's way more fun, honestly. <laughs> I just knew, I just knew, I really liked that one, and I put so much right. effort in that one. The other one, I was like, oh, crap, I can't think of another good one. But I thought of one, so it's okay. okay. So. This one is kind of just kind of like use your like just kind of think about everything Batman wise you've seen, but like oh okay. what the, okay so like can you name more than fifteen specific bat gadgets with that in the name? With that in the name, that has to be in the name though, because it can't okay. just be like grappling hook. Okay, okay, interesting. So we have the Batmobile. This is true. Bat cycle, I guess. Right. Bat yeah. Rang, obviously. Yeah. Oh, what would that would that be called? The like the like bat echolocation signaling device to like bring them all to a bat. That's like bat. literal bats. You, you're, you're right on it. It is a thing like that. <laughs> um, There's a word. <clears throat> The good bat word. Um, bat jet, bat wing. Yeah. I guess is what they call it. Yeah, bat wing. Um, um, do you count stuff like the hell bat, which is like that beefed up? I'll give that. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's a good one. I didn't think of that, but yeah, I'll give you that one because bat is in the name. Mm-hmm. You're killing me with fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I knew I couldn't do like five because I'm like it has to be a decent amount. Yeah. <sighs> Would you count like the bat signal? It's not really a gadget. It's just a thing. Yeah, it's not really. That's really, it's, not really yeah. it's not really his either. It's kind of like he he gave it to them. I guess, but I guess. <laughs> I mean, sure. For this, I'll count it because it is. Uh, you don't have to, but um. Okay. Um. 
bat shark repellent. <laughs> That'll work. Okay. <laughs> It has it has been used as a gadget from Batman, okay. so I will take it. Um, like everything I can think of, I can't like. I don't think it has bat in the name, like smoke bombs. I don't know if those are bat smoke bombs. Um, I don't know if I can think of any others that have that in the name. Okay. Okay. That, yeah. This one was hard because it's hard to have the bat in the name thing is what made it so hard. But yeah, some other ones. Gadgets, I could go on for days, but it was Yeah, no, it's like it's like there's specifically they're like the bat bomb, bat cuffs. That's one that's hilarious because you bat never cuffs. think of that. Yeah, because it's like they have yeah. little bats on the sides. Mm-hmm. Hilarious. Bat bomb, bat cuffs. There's also Bat heater, which is interesting. What's, what's that? It's like it's like a Mr. like a heater from like Mr. Freeze. A lot of these are from Batman and Robin, believe it or not. <laughs> I, I believe it. <laughs> right? yeah. Bat credit yeah. card. Bat credit yes. card. Yes, bat credit card. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> bat credit. Never forget the bat credit card. That credit card, that earplugs, which was hilarious, but is a thing, apparently. I had to why is that bat earplugs? Why is it just earplugs? I, I don't know. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't I don't know why certain things are bat things and certain things aren't, but mm-hmm. here we are. Yep. Um, and then I think there's one more. Oh yeah, bat bolas, like the little like things that like wrap up and t- yeah i don't know why okay. they're bat bolas and not just bolas i don't think they have bats on them but whatever but you okay. did good that was feel pretty good because that's like a very specific thing and i was like let's mm. see what we got here <laughs> okay um i don't think we've done this one before but if we have it's still fun um, okay how many uh dr doofensmertz in nature oh yes <laughs> yes. I think what we did is I think I did the I think I said the Phineas and Ferb things they made, but I don't yes. think we did this one. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is good. I like this. Okay. So there is there's so many. Where do I start? Okay. There's the like a nader where it's the one. Oh god, I'm not gonna remember all the names exactly because I know they do dumb stuff. There's the ugly anator, which is hilarious, by the way. Mm. He shoots himself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there is the oh, there's the like isn't there like a there's like a giant magnet orator because he has the tin foil on half the city and just comes at him. Mm-hmm. There's um the like bump the bum bombinator. It's like the heartbeat because he's trying to somehow. It's a weird episode. It's the same episode mm-hmm. where they try to, they do the parents with the. No, it's the, it's the same episode with the ball G, ball G in the band. And mm. he, like, he's trying to, like, somehow mind control babies by having them listen to his heartbeat, listen right. to a loudspeaker. It's something ridiculous. It makes no yeah. sense. But there's also a nanny robot that kicks Barry's butt, which is hilarious. Um, mm. There is the, oh, the Yodelinator, where he does that, like, really good song and then how controls people's minds. That's a mm. good one. Mm-hmm. Um, there is, isn't it? I think it's just the kickinator, the kickball thing. I think, <laughs> which is so <laughs> stupid, <laughs> but it, it was kind of effective. Um, there's, is it? There's like, isn't there like an age accelerator in it? Yeah, because mm-hmm. he wants to make the cheese old, but he ends up making them old. Um, there's. Make anything evil a nader. Mm-hmm. That was a thing. There was like a dance a nader that made anything dance. Um, there was. I don't know if there was a nader. I think it, I don't know if it was a. It was like a. 
there was one episode where he made a bunch of clones of Perry. I don't know if there was like a Perry platypusinator or something, but mm-hmm. maybe that was. I'm not sure. Um, there's the like <clears throat> make up my mind donator, which makes anyone make a decision. That was a good right. one. That was actually a smart one. <clears throat> um, there was. I don't remember what the thing actually oh no wait i know i don't think he actually made a thing he was just looking for zinc i don't remember if he actually made a thing or not um i don't remember maybe it was oh gosh there's so many of these and they make one every episode how do they come up mm-hmm. this is hard <laughs> uh i think i don't care nader it just makes someone automatically not care about something yes like all the things. yes um what else there's at least a couple more. The I, I that's all I can I can't think of. Okay, that's well. fine. What are uh, some other couple, ones? A couple I remember was uh, the dance inator. Like everything mm-hmm. makes everything choose dance, mm-hmm. which which leads to my all time favorite, maybe lion from from any thing ever. When you know it makes the the like amphitheater or whatever that Phineas and Fur built, you know, dance away. And then right. <laughs> the mom gets home. <laughs> she's like, "Where is this thing?" It got up and danced, danced away. away. It what? It got up and danced away. <laughs> <laughs> it got up and danced away. <laughs> like, <laughs> because she's so not wrong. It's so funny. No, I love the one where they like Doof and Perry are fighting. They both get hit, and they're dancing. Like, and to add mm-hmm. insult injury, the platypus is leaving. Like, yep. Like, well, oh, there's some good ones, man. Oh. Uh, there's there's one on a list here. The, the ones that stood out. There's one that um the uh, the the accentinator. He wants all French people to no longer have accents. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know <laughs> that's, I mean that's so funny because that just sounds like something Doof would do like that's so stupid uh, but like I could totally that's all you could definitely make an episode about that mm-hmm. okay let's see the baby inator mm-hmm. and the babies yeah, um, sink inator what Landslide. Oh, oh, the the oh, that's right. The mountain out of a molehill inator because he has this entire yes. stupid backstory which made no sense. <laughs> don't make a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> yeah, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. It, it was like so, like growing up in school, and then like on like you know doing my taxes. Don't do it or something totally yeah. random. It was so funny, like. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm a baking soda volcano. Oh, that was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I, I give it up science. I use poetry to express my feelings. Yeah, I still somehow lost to a baking soda volcano. <laughs> 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 it's so funny, man. I, I just find that clip. That's a very good one. <laughs> Dude, that sh- this show is gold. Bad. Like I, oh my god! This yeah, I want so that after. Like I just need to like binge all of his stupid backstories. <laughs> I do. I bet there's just a YouTube compilation of just every oh, sure. ever. I'm about to hold on. <laughs> every Doofenshmirtz animator. Yeah. Oh my dude, there's an what? hour long video. <laughs> hour like, there was like, yes, just there going. Was, like, it even has Milo Murphy so, yeah. episodes in it, man. This thing right. is I'm watching that. <laughs> I just love it because like they had to like actually write these out and like they made an episode surrounding this based on a backstory that made no sense but is nonetheless hilarious mm-hmm. like ah, this is this is such a good show i don't 
I don't think I realized how good this show was until it, I got older and watched it again. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like as a kid, I liked it, but as an adult, this show is amazing. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. So, is there anything else uh, you want to bring in for discuss before we sign off? Well, I've got. Okay. So, with that, we'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.